One, two, three, four. Mama got rhythm, daddy got soul. Baby got no choice but to rock and roll. You know, Colorado is such a, a good place to Mama be able to constantly daddy, daddy do shows mama. within a few hour drive. Baby gonna have a little visit with the Dalai Lama. You know, we play jazz places, we play uh, Mama got love, little daddy mountain got pubs vision. and stuff. You know, we play pretty much try to work everywhere we can. And some places, you know, they're, they're more accommodating to a band. Catch that freight train and ride. Some places are kind of like, uh, we have zillions of shows, whatever, just get in and out, you know what I mean? Mama got rhythm. Uh, well, I'm Damon Wood. Um, our band is Harmonious Junk. Baby got no choice but to rock and roll. You know, I started up my band in uh, Las Vegas, and Las Vegas is very much casino music, and you're pretty much background. There's not an original scene. It never, it doesn't survive, really. Baby, don't push. Baby, don't shove. So I wanted to come someplace else, you know, that had a more fertile music scene, and Denver seemed to be a nice place, nice people, not too far away from, you know, where I came from. Daddy got soul. Baby got no choice but to rock and roll. Well, I play guitar. Um, started playing when I was 14. And I uh, had, a, had a friend who like picked it up in a, maybe a year or two and got really good at like classical stuff. He kind of picked it up so quick that me and a friend of mine were like, man, if Tommy got that good, man, we should try it out. You know, this looks like fun, you know? So we kind of, he let us borrow a guitar and showed us a little thing and we just, you know, started working on that. And, and then it just became an addiction, you know, a love and an addiction. Mama got style, daddy got heart. Baby gonna go out there, gonna do his part. Well, my name is uh, Sam Smith. I grew up in the South. I play electric bass. Um, I've been in Denver for about 14 years. Baby gonna live right up until he dies. I met Damon. He was running an ad at the end of 02. He was still in Vegas, I think. And I called him up. He's like, yeah, you gotta learn this song, this song. I'm like, oh, I don't know about all that. Baby got no choice but to rock and roll. Talked to him on the phone for like a split second and then didn't see him or anything for like three, four years. And then he was running another ad. And so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna send him an email. So I, just sent, I was real cocky. I sent this email, I'm like, hey, it's Sam Smith from Bowshot. Bam. And he's, he writes back, like, who are you? <laughs> so that's kind of how that started. Baby gonna laugh. Baby gonna cry. Baby gonna live right up until he dies. Said, baby gonna live right up until he die. Well, my name's Jeff Brink. I play the drums. I've played since I was 10 years old. Live in Colorado my whole life. Just, music is all I'm about, you know. Uh, ended up meeting Damon through through a friend that I used to jam with, that jam with once in a while, and uh, you know, was kind of blown away. What this guy played with James Brown, you know? Like, all right, I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> So we do one rehearsal, and Damon tells me, so, you want to play a show on Friday? I was just kind of blown away by that and been jammed with him ever since. Sitting around at night, waiting on you was all right in the butt. Well, like, originally, it was my cousin who got me into drums. Like, he, he mowed lawns for summer and really bought a drum set, you know, I was probably like eight or nine years old. Just watching him play, it was like, oh, I gotta learn that, I gotta do that, you know? Baby, won't you hurry and I'll bring it on home, home. Got really into heavy into reggae for a long time, and like that's really influenced my style, how I play, you know? About the time tomorrow, I wonder where you will be, girl. Originally from Georgia, I've right? been in New York since 65, really. You know, but I always kind of like in music, I played, you know, really couldn't really play, but I was messing around with it because I liked the girls in school and stuff. I need to love in that night. So as a matter of fact, when I got to New York in 65, you know, I started playing bass. And that's when I started. Me and another guy named Cheese, you know. And I met James Brown in 71. He came in the club where we was playing that, and boom, he said, I like that band. I want them guys to hide the whole band. So that's how I started with Brown. Oh, you got me walking alone, singing a song. About the time tomorrow, I wonder where you will be, girl. Brown had us to do a show. We, first time we called him out to play with us, uh, we was in Europe. 
And I James used to always have me come out and do a song. You know, sing a song. Fred come out and sing a song. Of course I sing a song. If I do good, I don't sing no more than six months or a year. <laughs> that was too good, Fred. Get the best thing I ever had. Baby, won't you hurry now and bring it on home? You know, Brown called me out to do Sweet Little Angel, you know. That night when I said, I got a Sweet Little Angel, me and him made a connection that night, you know. And we got a standing ovation. And Brown, of course, Brown, and I said, I had to with these cats, you know. <laughs> Singing that song about the time tomorrow, I wonder where are you a big girl. After that night, we know that we had something magic going between us, you know, with the vocals and the guitar and thing and whatnot, you know. Then we just became real friends. I wonder where are you a big girl. You tell them what. I feel good with this group. I really feel good with this group, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, like, I can just do my thing, man, and they doing their thing, and we do our thing, and it, and it sets up a different takeoff, man, you know? I'm gonna say it once more So we both can be sure We live our life like a fantasy Our dream become our reality So hopefully, Sometime in the near future, when, when things come around to me, you know, I'm going to try to bounce it that way, you know, so we can get out of here and go overseas. Uh, it could be in the States as well. You know, wherever that I might be able to, like, get up in. I, I tip my hat once again Just to let you know I love you so But that, that's the basis of it, man, you know, and I'm having a great time. I love Denver. I had the opportunity to do some recording with Damon, you know, and um, on this new CD and whatnot, and got a chance to do some vocal and do a little bass on it, you know, so, uh, you know, I'm thrilled about that, man, you know. Always my friend, a friend to the end. The new record is called Tukaki in Nagasaki. Just want to thank Ryan Conway, Conway Sound Studios. All the art on our CD was done by a guy named Jeremy Langston. You're still my friend. Oh, you my bow wow. Until it makes sense to go on the road, you know what I mean? We're going to keep it regional, but we definitely want to see how, you know, uh, how people like the CD and how far it can go and, you know, hopefully uh, get some, get a little bit more nationwide touring going this year. That's what we hope for, you know. You're always my friend A friend until the end You're my friend They be playing everything, man. They be playing some reggae, they see some country, and they play some Indian song. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, listen, but I listen, man, what are you listening to? I said, music. <laughs> music. <laughs> Walking alone, you got me wondering where you're gonna be. You keep me wondering where you're gonna be tomorrow. You keep me wondering, girl, where you're gonna be. Walking alone.